Yo guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to improve in Brawlhalla if you're starting out as a beginner. Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. If this is your first video that you've ever seen by me, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the content. I do like to make these sort of gaming guide videos as well as useful videos and just general like streamer discussion videos. So if any of that interests you, like I said, make sure to subscribe. In today's video, like I mentioned, we're going to be giving you five tips on how you can improve in Brawlhalla as a beginner. I do want to quickly dis um, give a disclaimer that I myself am not the best. I am like a gold player. I've, I've only started to take it really seriously over the past like three or four weeks. But these are tips which I've learned and which I knew when I started out playing the game. So first off, let's get straight into the game first. Alright, so my first tip for improving is first off understanding the types of moves there are. There's around, I believe, 11 moves in the game. So you've got neutral light or end light, side light or S light, down light or down light, and then in the air you've got neutral air or nair, side air or sair, and then finally down light, which uh, down air, which can also be there. And then finally, you've got your signature moves. Signature moves are the heavy attacks of each character. They all have different ones and will all be unique to that character. Some characters may have some relatively same ones, like same animations, but I believe most of the time it'll just be a or um, it will be complete. It'll still be different in its own way. So to first, first off, to start the signatures, we've got neutrals, M signature or N sig. Side sig or S sig, and then finally down sig or D sig, and then finally for the last two moves, these are used during the in the middle of the air. So when you're in mid air, that's up, that's a recovery, and then this is ground pound. <laughs> There's also one extra mechanic you can do, which allows you to use grounded moves on the or in the air, which is called a gravity cancel. So gravity cancel is when you press dodge. So if you're on control like me, as you can see. From the controller in the bottom right, whenever I press any of the two triggers, it will dodge for me. So if I'm in the air and I dodge an attack, it will it will be as if I used a granted attack. So this could sort of be good. So say I wanted to do this, and then say if he was to come back up immediately, I could immediately just hit him with another one and try and do the combo again. So that didn't work that time, but and then say he. I could, you can also do it for signatures as well, because if you try to do signatures in the air, it does the recovery in ground pound. So, ground pound is good for just finishing off enemies, and recovery, as, as the name implies, it's mostly used for recovery, and I'll go and get more into recovery in a second, but it can be also be used for like just finishing off uh, people. Like... That wasn't the best example, but you could sort of get the gist of it. Say if he's coming from under and he's he's taken a lot of health, as you could see in like the top right, then a simple like recovery, which could literally be like a your own unarmed or own uppercut, is literally all you need for it. All right, so the second thing I would recommend is a uh, starting off as a new cat, a new player, is going into a um striker one v one and so um just finding a weapon main so the reason why i say strike out is because you can have three different characters and that means you can play with three different characters and each character has two different weapons so you could in over in like you could play with six different weapons in a single game so you could be playing Brodvar with a sword and a hammer you could play lord vrax with a spear and blasters and then you can say go so as of like Bryn who has a spear and an axe so what's really important I'd say is understanding like find a weapon which you're good with and then finding characters which then like which then have that weapon and then decide your main character from that so you can then go to legends here and if you click on them it will show what, what buttons they hold Personally for me, I'm more of a sword and gauntlets main, and that's why I've played Val, because I just enjoy both weapons. However, I do like playing a um I also do like playing spear a bit and some and some uh, a scythe. So I may want to play some Jiro, Hattori, to mix and match different weapons together and just see what works out for me. But at the time, like for the time being, I'm just in really enjoying Val at the minute. 
all right so we're gonna um okay for tip number three we're gonna be explaining jump recoveries now jump recovery a lot of beginner people will spam their jumps immediately and they'll just waste the jumps whereas if you space them out you can just get that little bit extra jump it may not be much but it can go a long way so jump recovery so this is really important for when you go off stage so you've got like i believe five jumps well if you're grounded you have three jumps recovery and then dodge and then say if you go straight off the ground you have two jumps a recovery and a dodge so that's important to know for if you are going to like if you're a bit more experienced and you want to go off stage please do keep uh, keep track on um like what you have in like what you have for um your, your recovery because sometimes people do use like overuse it i will i admit i do it as well i overuse sometimes so i'll double jump sometimes when i don't need it and then i won't realize how much recovery i have left but something i would recommend is going into just training and practice going off stage and trying to recover this map's pretty easy to recover on but um say something like shipwreck cruise those are going to be ones which you would want to be practicing more of because they have i believe very like very high or blast zones like very spread out and blast zones and they have very small ledges at the side also do note that if you do stand on a ledge you will get your jumps back and your dodge however if you keep holding onto the wall you and um, you'll increasingly start to slide off faster until you just won't be able to stick onto it anymore for the fourth tip i want to discuss is understanding combos and strings now combos and strings are two important things in the game which i believe a lot of people get messed up with i know myself i did but basically a string is a two-piece or um, attack which you use two different attacks together in a quick succession and a combo is a mult like it is just a um just multiple attacks put together so for example uh, um, if we go to valve's gauntlet a simple string is just up there and well no side light and then a uh, net um there yep however you can take this further so say if i can do it here you can then so okay hold on you can do other things like you can then go for a uh, i don't know so say gauntlet go up there and then depending on how they dodge you can then hit with a dare and also some like some easy strings to do with gauntlets is like just a side light and then uppercut or um, recovery so i'd say if you say once you found your main weapon or weapons go into custom training and or just try and practice some combos with it this is like i've only just came on so i'm not the best at the minute but this is why you need to practice because if you don't if you don't practice then you're just going to keep getting rusty and you need to, and then other people will be able to be an advantage against you because you'll be rusty and they'll be warmed up because they took time to um, practice also do remember you can also go onto our own youtube or reddit and then uh, like look at our um scythe combos that people have left or watch your videos on youtube for the combos i know that's something i done with gauntlet so i know i'd done like it's an easy one it's just this <laughs> remember at right, first i believe i just had to watch a few gauntlet videos to understand it also it's something i would recommend if you are training um i believe you should go to settings and then go to the standard settings and turn on damage stun hitbox hurtbox and turn off item spawning <laughs> and then basically what you'll do is okay not that but let's score one come up so what it'll do is, right there, you saw as I went to um, hit him with the Nair, it showed dodge windows and it showed how much damage that I'd done altogether. Alright, and my final tip for anyone who's new to Brahul and wanting to improve, I'd say you need to work on movement. This is something I've been trying to work on a lot. But um, you need to understand, like, movement is everything in this game. And if you're too slow, like, I'll be honest, okay, if I have a look at my... Um, past hours you can see that are, um, I have over 140 hours and 44 have been in the past two weeks and before that I had over 70 hours in the past two weeks and before that I was like before I started taking this seriously I was on about 40 hours and 
I didn't know what running was, I never knew it was a thing, all I knew was to dodge and that was the only use for the triggers. But um, as I've started to play a bit more I've started to understand the dash mechanic and you can also use sidestep so you can dash and then go the like hold it in the opposite direction so say if you're running towards someone you can dash and run to that direction and before you go towards them you can press the end the trigger button again and go in the opposite direction which will put you step back you don't even need to dash, dash for it but it'd probably be a bit more useful if you was to and you can use this to just bait people to try and bait them into attacks and then punish them straight afterwards and yeah it also starts to learn fast falling this will be a lot you like a lot more useful and you can also put these two together so you can put um your dash and your jump together so you can uh, fast fall quicker also one bonus tip for you guys if you are on controller then go over to um the settings controls go to xbox 360 press y to change controls or if you're on ps4 it'll still i believe it'll still come up with xbox 360 but simply press uh, triangle change controls and go down to where it says quick attack picks up T um, turn that off and click apply and save and what this will do is it will now mean that if i now turn or um, item spawn on if i throw my weapon using the right bumper that I, instead of attacking, which you'd normally have to do, you'd normally have to press X or square to attack or to pick up a weapon. You then have to press right bumper. This is useful because say if for, um, say if you missed the weapon, you then end up hit, um, go for attack afterwards and say the person who actually got the weapon could then easily get an attack up onto you. And also it means you can say attack quicker. So say if I'm to, if I was to if I was to press X with that to pick it up, I don't think I would have um, made an attack as quick as that. But yeah, it's just like a really because you're not using your right bumpers when you're unarmed. It's like a really useful thing to use, like to have, and it's a lot better than having X, which is your attack button, to be your um. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you thought of this video, and let me know other like if you have any other tips which you think could help out any Brahola beginners. Leave them in the comments so other people could then have a look at them and help improve their game. Also, let me know what you thought of just this tip video in general. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know in the comments below, and if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.